Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. It is a vector file. It's clean and sharp, but it's got some areas that he wants to smooth out. But when he goes to a shape tool, he can't get any nodes to appear to do anything with. Well, the reason for that, if we select it all, and right down here, it's a group of two objects. You cannot have a group when you're doing nodes, so we're going to go to Object, Group, and Ungroup. As soon as we hit the pick tool or the shape tool, see what happened. Now, I could I just told him that in an email earlier, but there's a couple of nodes that I would want to correct. There's a line going through here. So I'm going to left click, right click, and you can see that line. First of all, what I'm going to do to make it easier for me anyway, I always turn this into a hairline and you can see your joints a little better and, and it's just everything just kind of stands out more. Now, a couple of ways you could do this, you could just grab that node and hit delete and it's gone. Or you could just take your virtual sigma delete key and just wipe through there and it's gone. Now, the one reason I decided to make the video, he said he was gonna use the smoothing tool. The smoothing tool started in X7 or, or above. You don't want your nib to be too big. I've got mine set on a half inch. So anything inside that circle is going to be touched. So I'm changing that a little bit. You know, like right here, I'm going to click on it and I'm just getting the roughness, but I'm also changing that. So you could actually make it like a quarter of an inch and then change this as long as you're not touching in that circle. Now, the only downside is it's not working as fast, but it, it does the job. See, like I can do that without touching this. Because you do not want, like, now two inches is going to change it faster. But watch what happens if I'm just trying to straighten this out. It changed a lot of stuff. Let me back up and you'll see what it changed. See how it changed up this inner part? So if you try to get just that, you're just changing too much. So even though uh, bigger is better, in this case it's not... I set it on a half inch and then just go all the way around. Now you have to click on the item to get it uh, selected, but it's pretty easy to take. The smoothing tool is one of the best tools Corel ever added in the, the recent history. And then once I'm done, I would set my nudge factor on like six inches and I would fill in his nose, which is separate, separate, and then his rest of his body and you have that graphic and you don't have any hairlines left whatsoever because there's no lines there. If we take away the fill, there's no line. So in case he's cutting this out or, or I don't know if he's engraving it or printing it. And then you can group it back together. See, it's two objects selected. Control G to group. Now we've got a group of two objects. I hope that answered his question a little bit and thank you for watching.